pioneered by Hens and crew, as well as a few other teams. Whoa! Oh, speaking of the dash, Spider is in off the paranoia. Different flash and dash there. And actually, it's going to be headshot percentage coming out ahead here with yeah. three kills. T1 on the back foot right off the bat as the spike will be planted on B. Yeah, the really awkward thing about that is like you get the idea of it, but unfortunately when he went to dash out, he had an angle on a free kill on Jet right there on the opposition and said he dashed in and it got very awkward with everyone being there. He only got the one and obviously the trade's happening elsewhere as well. So yeah, this is going to be a very good hold for HSP. You got Jason, he's holding in the B main area. Josh Artizi is trying to help him the best they can, but... T1, it's not an easy task. Skadoodle, though, he's trying to make it happen. Gets two headshots with the classic. He's going to flash out, so he certainly has a chance right here. One in Bow House, one over towards the stairs. Going to blast out the stairs. And is he flashing again? No, he's not flashing again. The right click, it's not going to happen. And miniature with that ghost. I have on five retake scenario. Spike planted. And uh, yeah, I mean, T1, they bought up last round, so they definitely don't have the economic advantage or the gun advantage here either. Yeah. Yeah, I overlooked that. Yeah, no, the gun advantage actually is yeah. in favor of HSP, as you mentioned, because of the save essentially going on from T1. So I, they're, they're playing for, I mean, th this is not often. <laughs> it's a five versus five, so the bomb's been planted for 20 seconds. They're just simply playing for econ damage. So they're going to try to kill as many as possible on their way out. So, I mean, it's a solid strategy, I suppose, but it's also like, what the hell is happening right here? Yes, like save up. one indeed. I mean, HSP just going to burst their way out into spawn and They're so much for economic damage. <laughs> uh, yeah. First buy round. Pretty desperately, in my opinion. Yeah, got to get the momentum. Exalto, speaking of momentum, dashes on four, picks up the Phantom off the dead body of Spider. He needs to check Boathouse, though. Daze is there, and Daze will win that duel Daze as he's flashed out. Though, the oh, no. <laughs> Knocked up. Uh, oh, nice teamwork, though. Jason will kill Daze, but damage done by T1 this time around. Automatic gets the one more and the finish from Skadoodle. So entirely once again. Yeah, there's been a lot of that here in this game. I mean, it certainly is a strategy. We've seen teams go with this before where they play just pure retake uh, instead. And maybe that's what T1's going for. But I, they actually don't give it up enough, apparently, because uh, the bomb's not going to be planted just yet. They get the door down, though, does HSP. And Breach is eventually going to get that plant. So headshot percentage, numbers, only three of them alive. They're going up against five. But they are comfy. And that A-side, J-side, though, landed one kill. Going to get another even? Oh, my God, he gets oh two, and God, suddenly we're even two. in numbers. T1, what is happening? The Odin not going to spray enough. Spider at least takes out miniature. But Nasi, here though. we go with the ultimate. It knocks them up. It's going to delay them, if anything. They spot one with the... <laughs> the Jason gets right a third. There. Nazi gets automatic as well. And now it's just dazed in heaven. Spike ticking down. Got to deal with a Killjoy and the Breach still alive. Gets the Breach. Oh, wait, sorry. Can't Killjoy's get the defuse, though. It's just too much. It's too little time. Yeah, there's no way. Daze, he just wants to try to live at this point. Just run. He's going to do that. But the round one by HSP. We cannot forget that started three versus five. And yep. I would have to imagine that at some point T1 needs to just be like, all right, we have to fight for the site. This is way too easy. <laughs> it's, they're doing a lot of giving up and playing for retakes. And again, that's a fine strategy when you actually get the retake. You know, everyone, they, they really haven't though, right? It's, it just hasn't been working for them. But I agree with you there. Maybe try to be a little bit more aggressive in terms of the initial hole, but Exalt cleans up three. He gets the four to finish the job. Curry was able to get one in the mix of that, but Working doesn't mean that you can't throw them further off balance. Here comes a Hunter's Fury from Jason. Try and find some information. Spider able to drop first blood, though, with that operator. Jason trades back, though, finding Daze. 30 seconds left. Oh, oh. Spider, it's like, just shoot out, shoot out. <laughs> okay, he does eventually <laughs> shoot as it goes down. Yeah, he doesn't have the uh, the vision that we do, but it works out there for him in the end. You mentioned Jason was able to find a Hunter's Fury kill elsewhere, but... Obviously, T1 feeling pretty good about their chances right now. Four versus two. They're in the boathouse. In the back right there, Spider eventually lands an operator after the spray misses from Curry. But Curry will get the f Instantly, Spider yeah. and Market will be smoked off. And the push comes in. Nice shot onto the breach. But Exalt will trade him out almost immediately. Right here. Double boathouse. Daze and Curry are both back here. Flash coming on through from Omen. Killjoy leading the way, but Daze cleans them both up. Gets two. Is taken out by Jason though. And Jason will get a plant off. So two versus two. Josh Arteezy. He's holding this stairs angle. Looks like Breach might know he's there. Skadoodle. Yeah, they're definitely somewhat aware, it seems like. 
But Skadoodle waiting for his teammate. Automatic is coming from B main. And they're going to try to go into this together. I don't know if Breach has flashes. I didn't double check there, but if he does. That could certainly be a play here. Omen is setting up two with a smoke. Automatic didn't even check the angle, though. No. So apparently was not communicated by Sk Skadoodle or just not known. Now he will have to push forward. Oh. Finds the headshot running. I guess it wasn't nerfed after all, but he has moments to make this happen. And he won't be able to. Well played, Jason. He's nice. Able to push through those smokes in T1. Once again, just giving up lots of map control. This time in mid. Spider will find the first pick as Josh RT goes down to the op. Now, kind of an awkward position for these two mid players. They are surrounded by T1. Exalt. Look for knives. Ooh, so pretty. Gets the headshot with one left click. Evens up the numbers right there. Does have all that utility really to go. His teammates going to be following up behind Killjoy, leaving a sentry to check for that CT spawn area. Two Hunters Furies are available, so I would expect to see those coming out in dueling fashion at some point in this round. T1 really pressed back left. into the boathouse area with Skadoodle as well as Curry. I mean, and HSP is going the, the, the right spot here. They happen they to be are. choosing the exact right area because they were pushing up A main, and yeah, they're going to be blocked off now. So this is going to be an A plant for HSP. It's a matter, it's again, for during the final round of the half, how do they retake? Well, it's going to start with the Hunter's Fury Days trying to find a pick and delay the spike. We'll get a couple of tags. The recon at least, but spike is down and ticking. Exalt killing Curry after... Miniature goes down. Jason's Hunter's Fury also coming out. Nasi going to find Spider, and suddenly it's just the Sova remaining dazed. Three players to worry about. Left, understandable, but as we see, they're uh -oh. both hell and behind the black box and on heaven, all stacked up because they're going to peek together, and they are going to find the killer. General. And so I am very curious to see what they look like on the attacking side as they dash forward. Frenzy's in hand. Exalt, though, able to find the first pick. Spider takes out Nosy. And now we'll eat a shock dart for his trouble down to 16 HP. He sees that the gun. Chunky. Yeah, he saw he the gun of Jed. He's just like, all right, can I get to him? He does eventually. So even with 16 HP, he's doing so much damage. Right, you're still alive, in fact, even with that moment. But the bomb is planted for T1. As we see the health pool, not the, not the greatest for a headshot percentage, but Killjoy will actually lead the way. She's at full life. It's a sentry out to scout. Can't find any shots, though, initially, and it's eventually gets killed on the friendly. Uh -oh. Daze takes out one, another in the smoke, got to spray through it. Josh Both retweet. There. Get it in there. In Automatic goes down, and then Josh retweet finds the other one. Let's make it 9-4 to four for HSP. Man, and they'll give the ult point over to Jet as well. HSP definitely gives T1 a bit of an advantage here in firepower. Exult. Oh. He is in spawn right now, gunning down Curry. Days will take out Miniature. Automatic closes the door. And the Breach is trying to push him through Tree. Nosy will blast at him for his trouble, but will meet Automatic in Heaven, who has rotated up there quickly. Also gunning down Exalt. Shutting down the Jet Knives. Yeah, that's, that's a big kill, honestly, because, yeah, if Jet's able to get one, if not both those kills especially, then this round's maybe different, but... A uh, big kill on the on the knives out there, but it's it ain't over yet. As a nice uh, kill from Jay Sung, it's a sheriff. Drone's gonna be taken out. Got some information though. There's the recon as well. Spider hiding in smoke for now. Gonna peek out. Won't be able to hit the shots. T1 again playing pretty carefully with their angles. They have a vandal they'd really like to save, but at this point HSP gonna try and force the issue. Jay Sung. Will be the last to fall. Spider able to clean that one up. Yeah, I missed that. It's all right, Breaky. I mean, you're you're getting up there in years, so those eyes aren't as good as they used to be. But that's okay. Whoa, whoa, that's why whoa. we're casting here instead of playing. Exalt gonna find the first kill. Curry trades him out. Jason gonna pop that Hunter's Fury as well, trying to stop this push from happening. Ooh, and he does. Great timing play by Josh RT. Scudoodle going down. Comes the lineups. That's the last thing you expect in that case. You're like, oh, he smoked off. Just going to run through. And nope, he was hiding the smoke the whole time. Great peek by Josh RT. Perfect timing. Automatic is going to plant it, however. HSP. Playing for retake now. Jason. 
He's got the got the arrow, but he's waiting for his teammates. Josh RT is going to be teleporting somewhere. Was it going to be top of heaven, maybe, or a main? Oh, he's checking the side. He's using it for vision checking. to get an idea where they were. Jason, he finds one kill. Somebody's hell. He needs a teamwork. Oh, no, that Jason just takes it out. over. He gets a third. No, Josh RT got that one, but it doesn't matter. As a team, they get the kill. Silva's got that Hunter's Fury as well. Exalt. Guess what, though? He finds Spud, and that's the knives going down. Miniature finds Curry as well, running through his own smoke, using his utility against him right there. And they are holding down this B area. It's not often they've gone B as two, but they shouldn't go B because they get cleaned round. up. All five, a flawless round. In Double for days. And Nosy, it's like, it's like he knows. <laughs> Nosy knows something. Exalt. Shocker, he's playing the aggressive Exalt again. charge forward oh, into the God. flash. No what way. A play. What a combo. Yes, he gets two. He's going to get the third with the spray. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What an aggressive play. The combo is real. He even stunned himself. He don't care. He's landing shots. Josh RT is sitting back, holding an angle, wait, waiting for somebody to try to creep back through B, and he's going to have a chance here. Oh, oh, turn right. Oh, okay. Corner. Spike down. <laughs> and it is all up to Curry. One versus five to try to keep up alive. It ain't happening. 13 to seven will be. Times you miss a couple angles here and there. Curry going to find a free kill on miniature. As the Sage tries to rotate, and with that, they're going to cue the rotation back to A site, expecting that Sage to be the last one out. Dazed finds a kill on Exalt coming down from the tube. I'll call it feeding tube sometimes, since it leads into the kitchen. And, uh, Exalt will be on a feeding tube after this round. It'll be a three on five defense now for HSP and T1. Switching it up once again, trying to use this Viper wall. Abuse the vision that it provides or obscures. 30 seconds Take it left. to B. Yeah, they are going to go to B. I, I like to see this movement here back and forth for T1. Um, it's uh, they're, they're keeping them guessing on the HSP side. The wall goes down. The bomb being planted. And automatic. We'll be able to get it down. Losing a teammate nearby, though. Took, in, took some damage in the meantime. As Nosy goes down there, too. But T1 eventually... On the retake by any means. But you can look for a pick. Unable to find one as he goes down to dazed. Curry. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is just like the tilt. It's got to be the tilt at this point, right? Man, and it's the same the person. Exact same spot. That is... Oh. still believe that maybe something will happen, A, but... Wall will go up for automatic as he goes for the plant as well. Miniature going to be gunned down first after taking out Skadoodle. And I've yeah, heard uh, nice plenty of people talking about this map. You know, there, there's so many corners, so many angles to watch. One of the best ways to get rid of them is just put up a couple walls of your own. Yeah. <laughs> Cut off most of those angles. Yeah, that, that's, a, you know, both teams have Sage, but only one team has that Viper, so that's a good point. You know, both, uh, or T1, they get to use that double wall to their big time advantage on offense here, but Josh RT is charging out. He gets one kill. Got some assistance with that until he finds a second, finds a third. He's spraying for the fourth. Can't find initially. Diffuse is happening, though. He needs to protect, protect his teammate, and he's going to do just that. It looks like, no, Curry gets the kill. Oh, and... the Viper Molly pushes him off the spike. The Molly play. It's like the B is their play, and they're going to do the same exact thing. And this time, Josh RT is here to spray. He missed the second spray shot, though, on Sage. So she'll be fine for now. So out comes Hunter's Fury. Scud Tutelo gets a miniature kill, meanwhile, and knows he's looking to push up mid. Yeah, and he's got to hit this timing correctly, but he won't. Curry able to find the shot. Free A site for T1. The teleport into the back. Very aggressive play from Josh RT. Gets punished for it. He doesn't materialize quite in time. Skadoodle cleaning up. Exalt in the middle area. And Jaysung, the final remaining member. 1v4 and too many angles to check for this Sova. And Automatic will finish. They get pretty aggressive towards B. Yeah, I mean, we saw them. We saw their game plan on Ascent, which is really just to kind of pug it up, push get aggressive, punish T1 for their map control. But this map in particular is probably the most complicated in the game in terms of it, like how you have to approach it. Oh my God, Curry, you dirty rat. You <laughs> will be punished for it by Jaysung, the dude check. But again, making him think it has opened up the A site. It's a three man flank and automatic has resurrect available. Can he resurrect it? Like, can he you get up there? Okay, I was gonna say, it's like almost had some trouble initially, but no, Spider is gonna be resurrected. 
As uh, Jisung with that blind arrow checking the default spot, but Skadoodle picks up his third kill. Meanwhile, and the bomb, of course, is planted. Now he's checking this angle here, and he finds a fourth. He's going to go for the ace. It is just Jisung with the sheriff. He's going to wait for him to come after. He knows he's not winning this round. Can he win the battle, though? Yeah, I mean, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from T1 on this one. They have a very clear game plan, and uh, it is being executed pretty cleanly, considering how uh, off-kilter they looked in the last map. Skadoodle? Yeah, he gets it. <laughs> you know he wanted it. They were nothing out of it. Get, T1 is just not going to give anything to HSP. They're going to go for what seems like an obvious play. And again, get that Sage Wall down. They're going to Viper Pit on top of this. So, of course, that makes it extra difficult. The rocket in the face of Jason. Power Exalt. He will trade with an Operator kill. The miniature's just going to run on through, but he can't find one. That Viper Pit. It's so difficult. He finally gets automatic, but Curry the quick trade. There, and it's now down to Exalt with a Viper Pit up and three players alive. You have an operator, buddy. You're not winning this. Just, just run. No, he can't run. No, Spider gets <laughs> strategy book is probably out of uh, out of plays at this nice. point for the side of HSP. Automatic will find the first kill. Exalt will take out Curry as he makes his way through middle. And now T1 will they switch things up? Oh, Miniature oh. finds a kill in days as he lurks through kitchen. This might be the moment that we've all been waiting for. Exalt. Nice shot again. So he got two operator kills. Like Jason, he got one. It took him a little bit longer than expected, but he's got the T. Yeah, a little bit of damage coming in, but here comes another flash. This one for Breach. Headshot lining up. Not in time, though. Automatic kills him first. So knows he dead, and now it's time to take the site. It is, and not much resistance from the side of headshot percentage. As you mentioned outgun. Josh RT, though, able to spray down automatic in the smoke with the stinger. He's going to teleport somewhere else to reposition. Will it be heard? Sounds like it will be sent back to his original location by Spider. Now T1, they need to re, uh, they need to con collect the spike before they can go for a plant. But Skadoodle, thirty seconds left. Push forward, taking out Exalt. Curry finds Miniature as well. He's just lurking through mid once again, giving them indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a dad joke guy. Came through with that ghost in the mid, but it's a hard uh, hard hit from HSP. They go through mid, under tunnel, and they're already into Viper, the site. Curry, he gets bite, flashes though. they come in. He got one. He cannot get a second. He had a snake bite. It uh, stalled them a little bit. Nice flash, though, from Omen. And Spider finds that shot on a miniature. So the hold is pretty good for T1 so far. Bomb goes down, but T1, four versus two with not much life on that Omen. Yeah, and that's the the snake bite doing its work. Not only did uh, Curry get one kill, he also took two players down to about one shot, which on pistol rounds is a huge, huge advantage. And T1 capitalizes there. Only losing two players that time around. Still one round at a time. I always one go back to time. that. Skadoodle is ready to move on as he charges forward. Very aggressive positioning from the side of T1. Exalt able to punish Spider. So it is a four on four now. Automatic though. Oh, actually loses the duel to Nosy. Exalt oh, finds the three. third with the Sheriff popping off. He's yeah, we haven't seen a lot on. of Exalt like we did that first game, but this round he's, he's showing up certainly, the three kills. Now it's up to Curry with the Spectre in hand. As they're gonna get a plant off. Has a couple of snake bites, has that smoke. Gonna go up top early. Does he, does he dare use the zip line? Oh, he avoided those shots somebody somehow there. A little bit of lucky. Smoke. Smart. But too many angles to check. No way for the uh the T1 boys. 19-8 on the raise. Goes for the jump. Sides against it. Play from HSP. Exalt. Ooh, Ooh. This is the shot. That would have been a big it. pick there to open up the A site. Heavy pressure from HSP over this way. Spider, though, will strike back, taking out Miniature as he tries to come up and over those pipes. Oh, T1. Automatic. 
Yeah, T1 basically saying, come at us. I mean, we're ready to defend this. And you can tell HSP is very hesitant now. So, we're losing one. Nosey will catch Curry. Guess what? Curry flanking in that spawn area. And Nosey's able to hit that shot first. So, they're, they're trying to go fast to B, but it takes them a long time to get there, just as it takes T1 to get there. Yeah, these without, great angles. Uh, yeah, they don't have Sage either. So they do not have that Sage wall to put down. It's gonna He's going to try to put it down. Days, meanwhile, finds the headshot on Exalt. And he gets Spider another. Finds, Spider, Spider gets another. Gets and three. Nosy. He was hiding there all along. Josh has this off flank angle. They don't really know where he is. So he's going to be able to find Spider. Also knows where Skadoodle is. Days rotating in. Spike ticking down. They're just going to play time. This is... A crucial moment, and Daze will be able to find the flank. Josh goes down. T1 yep. gets the defuse. And we're going to a map number three. Yeah, we are. It's going to be Haven. Haven to determine whether or not... Uh, okay. Yeah, they just charge through B okay. over towards A, but they run directly into Spider, who cleans up two. Miniature, though, doing some work with the Ghost, but needs to do a bit more as he is down a player. Oh. <laughs> and Daze is just, just like, all right, free kill. I'll take <laughs> it right there. Yeah, interesting strategy from HSP. The idea of, uh, first off, you know, going B. If you're going to go B, maybe the pistol run is the best, sure. But you won't go only off the site. Yeah, the, the, the bomb is in garage, so it's actually not in B, even though B's wide open right now. But Exalt finds Skadoodle. They got another elsewhere on Curry. However, Automatic is able to take out Exalt. Makes it another trade. We're down to two versus two now. But the bomb finally planted in C. Four headshot percentage. Josh RT teleporting away. Well, that was actually uh, the other one. But point is, they're going to stick together on in garage, and they're going to move together, try to flank them. Oh, this could work out beautifully. It really could. You can see that T1, they're checking their angles, but they have no idea where the pressure's coming from. Josh finds the kill in automatic, and Spider is alone. He's going to try and get half at least before the pressure comes in. Oh, oh my god, the transfer Jason shooting the box. There's no penetration on to ascent a little bit where they played a bit more of the retake strategy. Yep. Yeah, I think especially once they lose a player, they're they're pretty much all in on giving up the site, grouping up as the remaining players, and then trying to make some sort of coordinated effort. Um but it'd be kind of tough to do on Haven sometimes. The uh, the sites are, are relatively hard to retake. There are so many angles to hold from. Right now, T1 being gunned down, but Day is finding a shock dart as well as a stinger. Nosy killing Skadoodle, but Day is finding a third. Oh! The classic the versus the Marshall in long. How is he still alive? Day wants the ace. But it's going to be a bomb. It's going to explode. Yeah. So he gets the ace, but it's like, okay, are you really? Losing a little bit of steam here. They are getting picked off first in a lot of these rounds, which is giving T1 a player advantage in a lot of these scenarios, making the takes harder, making the retakes easier. Miniature goes down to Curry, taking out Skadoodle. Three versus three. They're gonna get, Curry's gonna get some detection here with the Neural Theft. Has an idea of where they're at now. Spider is checking his angles, watching for that garage. Automatic meanwhile checks out window and Josh RT is not liking his teammate right now. He thought he had his coverage right there. In fact, Jason also goes down. Nosey is finally able to get automatic, but now Nosey in the smoke. He's him up top, but he turned away, took out, out his gun at the last second, and that's a defeat. So no, this is definitely a, still a pretty good angle. You know, the jig is probably up. Oh! Oh, the coverage, though, from Josh oh, RT. Oh, the trades oh, work yeah. in favor of HSP. So they did have a good I idea exactly still, despite not are. exactly seeing him. Either way, detection now coming out this time from HSP. And that will be a plant into the A site. Dazed, he's just going to throw out some shock darts. Open a hit, do some damage from the heaven. But another retake play for T1. Yeah, run it back was used, though, pretty early for Nosy. Didn't right find there. any real information or kill value out of it. Skadoodle has the Rolling, rolling thunder. thunder. He's lining it up. Oh, man, he dash on through. Gilma goes down, but knows he does find Daze. And that's only missed the right click. He's flashed the whole time. Spider finally busts the right click with the classic there, but it's still winnable for HSP. Nosy going to be up to him. Blast it out. He got the kill on Spider. The Fox kill. The oh, chase from for the Skadoodle, Molly though. The Molly play. It's not going to hit. And the defuse is definitely in time for Skadoodle. Made a sub G of playing for the retake. Nosy, he's hiding behind the box like they know. Counter Huntress Fury, dazed. He's shooting his out, but 
from what we see, that's not even close to hitting anyone. And uh, now, how does T1 execute from here? Again, all five are still up. Bombs ticking away. Got to do something. They do have a rocket on the side of HSP. There's an early trade. There's a rocket pulled out from Exalt. He sees a couple he sees spawn. The op. Oh, he wins! He, missed. he went for Fault. He got none. The ultimate whiff right there. Good doodle. Is he able to get the kill on Josh RT with the class? We got a two versus two. Exalt, he's holding on the bomb. Going up and down the boom pack. It's not enough, but the headshot from Jason. One versus one. Sova on Sova action. Shock dart action. The shock dart. He's got this. Jason has this. He's going to get the round victory for HSP. What a round again. Days ends up dying as well to the bomb explosion. And here comes that plant. Skadoodle gets miniature, though. That was, uh, that was all the way in garage area, actually. As uh, miniature was trying to play some flank. Skadoodle, he snuck it out, though. Or snipped it out, is what I was going for. Skadoodle has then, rolling thunder, too. Yeah, it's huge for retakes. There is an omen flank as well. So three players for T1 trying to make their way in from the defender's spawn. Here we go. Looking for some sort of pinch. There's the rolling thunder. Spider dashes forward. Hasn't found anybody yet. Exalt with the ultimate. Not find anybody either, but does get curry. And skadoodle. Yeah. Automatic flanking, though. He got one, but the bomb's ticking away. Spider, he needs his teammate here now. He's not going to be there in time. Exalt got a third. And HSP looking to build on this momentum. They're running it down A as quickly as possible. Some flashes and utility slowing them down for now. Spider finds the first kill before going down to Jason. Miniature trying to gun down, but Jason finds another day's trades out as well. Very chaotic as T1 trying to recover the site, but Jason finds a third. Uh, T1 did not play retake. <laughs> this time they, they certainly go did for... not. They, they were not afraid to fight this time. They, they definitely did give it their best effort, but now automatic. With a stinger and a hope and a dream, it's just going to be shut down altogether. Yeah, tricking us right there. Unfortunately not. Or maybe they did and he just dropped. That actually might be possible because it is the last round. So not 100% sure. Either way, we got a trade here as Curry will kill Josh RT after he poured it in. Taking out a teammate. Off the site to some extent. Day's going to sure. pull up the Hunter's Fury. Here comes, oh, nice snipe from Miniature taking out Curry as well through the blazing wall of lightning or whatever it is that Selva shoots. Tunnel of lightning. More appropriate, maybe. But either way, Neural Theft, too. So some detection. And T1 down to three players. As this is going to be a long C hold for with HSP. Yeah, and, and with Hunter's Fury. It's like, this is not a round T1 should win right now. At no. this point. Well, start strong. And that's the operator off the board for now. Hunter's Fury does come out. Exalt in the cubby. Be a little careful not to eat too many of these shots. Jason finds days though. Here comes the spam onto the spike. Is well, it's being potentially stuck by Spider, but no. the shock dart will clean it up. They're gonna swing to A now. Exalt. He is uh, he's watching his flank, but as we can tell, that not necessarily is something he needs to be watching right now. They are gonna plant in the site. It is a four versus four, but how about this flank automatic? He might rotate around the backside of HSP as they're looking to retake the A site now, but Exalt. Oh, oh, turn and headshot. Clean. Beautiful. Absolutely. And that definitely busts things wide open. Exalt going to be able to pinch in as well. Finds a third kill onto Spider. That's another big share of headshot. Oh, Josh RT finds the flanker and automatic skadoodle alone against the crowd. And he will go down to the frenzy. Going to be an easy defuse for HSP. Extending their lead 8 to 5 now clean with these sheriffs if they want to get any value out of this round at all. Aggressive play by Spider with the Frenzy. <laughs> Long range against the Spectre. Gonna lose that duel as Miniature takes him out. Josh RT takes out Curry as well. And this one's looking dead before it even started. This cage providing nice cover for Miniature to play around. He gets flashed once again. Gosh. Flash lasts forever, man. <laughs> <laughs> Feel Some them. Sunglasses, man. Skadoodle. Trying to make something happen with all this utility, but he has been flanked. Exalt has the angle. Automatic now being pinched from all sides. We'll go down as manager finds counters to the big sniper. Is available for Skadoodle, and T1 currently stacked up over towards A, although now rotating back into default, trying to find some information. We might see a little clash here in front of the garage as Josh RT pushes out. Has a bit of an off angle. Finds the shots onto Curry. 
looked away at just the wrong time, and now T1, four against five. They need a pick. They need to find some way to open up this site. Exalt's ready for a challenge. Yeah, good stun, though. That's actually a good stun coming out from Scudoodle. Automatic gets miniature, Nosey, but Nosey's though. hiding. They didn't know the peak from Exalt as well as they go for Nosey. Beautiful teamwork from Headshot Percentage, and now Spider is walking back with his teammate dazed behind him. Figuring out how do they handle this situation now. Bomb is down in the field. You got three players nearby from HSP. Good luck dealing with this one. This is tough. Yeah. And you almost have to try, right? You're so close to the end of the game. 30 seconds left. Don't want to let them go to 11 here, but you almost have to because it's just such a lost cause. Nice shock dart. Now, is he going to try and heal up? Perhaps? Spider able to pick up the bomb. <laughs> the wall Spike. allowing him to pick it up. Enemy remaining. Watch Watch right 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 yep, Nosey will clean it up. I mean... These goes down. Just delaying it, allowing the rotations to come in, perhaps. Spider gets gunned down as well. Oh. Skadoodle dying from fall damage. What? No way. Skadoodle. I got the kill right there. As oh, a result, we got the kill for fall damage. I, either yeah, way, yeah. it's a one versus one now. He's trying to find that corpse. He finds the corpse, gets the information. Miniature trying to do what he can. Oh, oh Curry, the aggressive push. Josh RT, there's a the run it back. They want to get some kills early. Not going to happen, though. Exalt, never mind. He does find a kill. He finds oh, he gets two. Great headshots there from Exalt. Two are dead. And T1's playing on their back foot. They are. I, I love the way that HSP is comboing their abilities together because that push was timed perfectly with the landing of the recon dart to allow them to push through the smoke and the blind like that. Automatic will find Minister on the back side of things. Opening up C, but there's another player here. Automatic out-dueling Jaysung. That's big. D1 pulling this one back. 3-3 three to three now. Not a ton of utility left. Automatic's planning. Spider, he's also got a decent angle here. They might not expect this. They're definitely not expecting this. You'll see Phoenix, a free kill. Now they know. But the damage already done. He's gonna fall back, but he's falling back into Josh. Oh! Quick oh, rotation. Exalt gets a third kill. Uh-oh. D1. Curry. Bring around the Rosie. Oh, oh, and he misses. This is also a moment where they can seize control of this game. Yeah. Curry takes out Exalt, who once again, I feel like we've said this before, gets a little too aggressive there. Uh, it's almost like T1 can expect it, but especially on a safe round, uh, even more expected. HSP trying to be a little clever, though. Find some, some some kills, take away those rifles. As Phoenix also pushed up, a spider is now holding that long A. They have a chance on Jason soon. Just checking that orb real quick. Knows he's like, all right, I guess I'll make the long way around, but Spider gets Josh pushing. Shocked our damage and the spray in heaven. They get the kill on Jaysung, and now it's just, just Phoenix. Just Phoenix. And uh, he does find a stinger, but I don't even think there's enough bullets in a stinger to kill five people, if I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> if you have, a, I actually don't think there's enough ammo unless you just only hit headshots. No, it's just like, just wait and see. Okay, well, maybe not. Yeah, I would imagine not. So we see this tiny axe for days being pulled out. Uh, but, you know, this point, drone. drone. Yep. Rolling Thunder is available, so the timing of this is going to be incredibly important. Paranoia comes out a little too early. Skadoodle able to take out Nosy. Exalt, though. He got Spider in the side. Josh RT, he's still holding. They know he's here, but he's keeping the push back, so he's doing his job. He oh, gets he... that shot on Skadoodle. Rolling Thunder is not Exalt. Joe Stopper, he got the kill on automatic. Is this it? T1, it's down to days. One versus three. The nade, he has to avoid that damage. The bomb is down in the sight, though. How do you win this if you're dazed? It is so difficult. He takes he a shock dart. He's waiting well. for Cypher. The shoulder, he saw it. Can he find this shot? They're holding he only all has angles. 13 seconds. There's Gets no one way. head. He way. can't get the second and miniature Defenders with the kill. Win. HSP, headshot percentage, takes out T1.